Hola from Lola! I just got done running 10 miles on a treadmill and I swear I felt like a warm up. Maybe I was going too slow. Maybe I wasn't pushing hard enough. But I feel pretty good. I'm completely not out of breath. The spot I was at was like not directly under the fan, but it wasn't directly like away from it. So it was pretty nice. Uh, my heart feels good. My body feels okay. My knees feel like they hurt. Um, treadmill running is way easier than regular running, outside running, because I don't have the sun. I don't have the wind. I don't have anything really that changes because my pace doesn't change unless I made it go up a little bit but I didn't go up and down I kept it at the same pace as soon as I found one that I liked so that was pretty nice my baby sister and my cousin Andrea came with me today and they were there for the start of my run and it was great they and I'm so happy they're that just like it's motivation and that just gave me everything I needed for today and today's run. Maybe I was running off adrenaline or something, but it was nice. Mm. Um, I'm kind of mad that it kind of took me two hours and 45 minutes to run 10 miles. Like, what was I doing? Was I walking? I felt like I was going at a good like pace, but like, was I like going at a recovery pace? I don't know. Ugh. Two hours and 45 minutes to run 10 miles? There's no way. No way. That, is, that should have taken like an hour. An hour and a half. Max. Treadmill running is different, I guess. It's very much different. I like the pace that I was going at. I felt like I could keep going and I felt like I could have ran another three miles and did a half marathon at that same pace. But am I really that slow? I don't know. I drink my electrolytes and my enduro and my BCAs during my run because it, uh, well, enduro is good to help with your your breathing, your cardiovascular system. So uh, I was like, okay, let me try it during, and I drank it after six, seven miles, and I felt good. But two hours and forty-five minutes for freaking ten miles? Who does that? I did it, but like, who does that? Ew. My headphones died after four miles, and that sucked. So, <laughs> that sucked. But it's okay, because the gym had music playing, and it wasn't that. It was okay music. Not music I listen to for a run, but... I mean, it's better than silence. I'm tired now. Oof. We're going to Palm Springs today. That'll be fun. So, during the run, basically at every mile, they were telling you to think about something, like always, to help you keep going. And then when we got to, like, about six miles, they were like, okay, well think about every think about the beginning of the run and go back they actually said go back to that pace go back to like your warm-up pace and run that for a little bit so you can remember what it feels like and to be there and then they said to go ahead for a couple little bits of whiles and then they said to go back and then start running at the pace of where you want to be when you're done like when you're finishing up think about that imagine that run that for a little bit so you can feel what it feels like to be there and then they told you to go back to the middle of the run because that's where you were and they wanted you to be present so that was awesome I like that um, I 
since I was running inside, I should like screen share or like save my video. I'm going to record my screen and show you guys how they track my treadmill run because it's kind of funky. Uh, I don't get it, but I ran it, so that's cool. You also have to keep your phone on you when you're running on the treadmill so that they can track your run, which I think is really, really silly because, like, what is my watch for? What is a Nike run app, Nike club run app for if it doesn't work on the watch without the phone present? I don't get it. I don't like that. I'm glad I had my fanny pack with me because... That's normally how I run, and I didn't want anything to slow me down like I always don't want. So that was helpful because I just put it around my waist until my phone died, or I'm kidding, until my headphones died. And then once they died, I went ahead and put it on. Um, I put my fanny pack on my chest so that I can hear the rest. Ha, <laughs> that rhymed. Um, just give me a dime. When there was one mile left, they wanted you to think about it as in like one mile or 4,000 meters. And then you break that down into 1,000 meters each meter for the mile. And just thinking about your form again, thinking about how the run went how who you want to be when you are finished after the run and then the last one was basically you're almost done how do you feel that's 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 that it was nice it was nice uh he really just talked to you at every mileage and was just like hey good job keep going think of this okay bye i'll see you in a mile <laughs> But he did hit the major points, you know, the whole, the three, the five K, um, the five, the, the five K, five mile, 12 K, um, 10 K, all the K's that were needed and all the mileage as well. But honestly, I feel like if I would have ran without my phone, it would have been the same because, I mean, uh, I, I do enjoy that. I do enjoy the little, the little um, points so that you can keep on talking because it, you talk to yourself and sometimes I forget what he told me to talk about. So then I just keep reminding myself to keep going and to just coach myself through it because that's really what matters, just keeping it going, keeping it consistent. And my mileage is all over the place. Like, I didn't feel that I was really changing the pace of the tread at all, so I don't understand how I didn't keep a consistent, like, same mileage. Even though it was a lot, um, like, it was just slower. I don't know. I thought it would have been, like, even, 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 Steven, even, Steven, all the way. But it wasn't. It's all over the place. And I also had to pee. <laughs> I had to pee when I got to, I believe, like, 12K or something. Like, oh, I gotta go. And normally it's like, no, I can sweat it out. But... I wasn't sweating in there because it was in the AC to gym. Um, was it helpful to do this mileage on the treadmill? I mean, yes, because I didn't stop unless I weren't pee. And the stupid treadmill after like an hour was like, no, no, you're done. Recover. And I was like, uh, no, what, what you mean? I ain't done. You don't tell me when I'm done. 
me tell you when I'm done. What? No. Keep going. So I had to play, play again, and then push it again, and then I had to keep going, because I just had to friggin'. I wanted to finish my run. Who are you, machinery, to think to tell me what to do? Get out of here. That's what I told it in my head. As I boop, 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 the button again. But I enjoyed the run. I'm ready for Palm Springs. I'm ready to go even out this tan. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I will see you guys on the next one. Whoop. Ah, I honked the horn on accident. Alrighty. Have a good one. Okay. Bye.